This song has been recommended ever since I started YouTube like two and a half, three years ago, you know what I'm saying? So I am three years late, you know what I'm saying? So my apologies to all you motherfuckers who've been recommending this, but I commend your persistence because I am here finally, man. Um I saw this being recommended so much when I um put out the reaction for Lee Sang's clown, you know what I'm saying? And this was probably the most recommended song in that comment thread, you know what I'm saying? And I read pretty much, you know what I'm saying? I try to go through all of them as usual and heart all of them and whatnot. So this is it, MC Sniper, better than yesterday. And as you guys know, I am pretty, nah, I, I wouldn't say I'm pretty familiar, but I am acquainted to who MC Sniper is because of my homie Skinny Chase, you know what I'm saying? If you saw me react to my man Skinny Chase or Coleslaw or something, over there, I talk about MC Sniper because, you know what I'm saying? He, you know what I'm saying? He told me about these cats and, you know what I'm saying, some of the history of Korean hip hop and Soul Company and, you know what I'm saying, Fana and MC Sniper and his crew called Buddha or you know all this shit you know what I'm saying so I kind of have like pieces of information here and there you know what I'm saying but I don't think I've ever reacted to him I've never listened to him and this is like you know what I'm saying decades old but that's, this is what I'm here for you know what I'm saying see where it all began the first generation so MC Sniper better than yesterday it has, it has English subs you know what I'm saying it says explicit but you know what I'm saying we don't care about that you know what I'm saying so you right <laughs> let's go all right and this is so only fun I didn't realize this is seven and a half minutes long so you ready? Let's go. Alright, man. I'm ready. I'm bracing myself. Mmm. Alright. Back in the days, you know what I'm saying? Uh. Uh. Alright. Mmm. Uh. It's like a movie intro almost. It's like a scene in a movie. Slow mo, you know what I'm saying? Camera movements, all that. Okay. One, two, three. Six people. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. First of all. <laughs> I feel like there's gonna be a ton of pauses because I gotta read all this. I've been on that stage. That's right, a rookie. My goal to make poetic rhymes to bring it under an estimable, an unestimable life. The slogan of the two BZs. Let me know what two BZs is. You know what I'm saying? So, the, uh, man, the, 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 the English subtitle super long. So. Uh, 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 my setup, my burning heart is a spokesman of my passion. No trial, tragedy, long you will be able to stop me. You know what I'm saying? That's fire, man. That's fire. Okay. Fire, man. Fire, fire. A little more like me, more fiercely, you know what I'm saying? Not like others, but more like us. A little bit more like me every day, you know what I'm saying? Finding, discovering myself, all that shit, you know what I'm saying? Make it, making it through, no problem. I step up to reality. I'm in an artificial environment, you know what I'm saying? Not like you. So it's like I'm in this fake ass world, but I'm not faking it, you know what I'm saying? I'm stepping into my reality. I'm, I'm gonna call y'all out, you know what I'm saying? I'm in the threats of the facade, exact opposite of this world, you know what I'm saying? So y'all are facade, fake, fake, you know, all that, you know, all that shit, you know what I'm saying? But he's the complete opposite. He's real, he's raw, he's authentic, you know what I'm saying? So. Okay, it says MC Sniper, but I'm guessing there's a ton of rappers in here, obviously. This is directed by MC Sniper, it said. I'm pretty sure he's gonna rap on it. But there's a bunch of these cats who are rapping with them. Maybe this is his crew, I'm not sure, you know what I'm saying? Probably all these rappers were pioneers back in the days. And these are the names, you know what I'm saying? KTC, Outsider, or something like that, you know what I'm saying? So. Uh. 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 Uh.
like very old school groove to it. I like it. I like the way he suppresses his, you know what I'm saying, um, his delivery in a sense to kind of like emphasize the emotions. I like that. I like that. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like the thing about this is I always, I, I not always, I already see the coherence in the concept and the lyrics. You know what I'm saying? Because these days you can listen to a song and it's featuring someone and this person's talking about love. And then this motherfucker who's featuring comes in and starts talking about how he's fucking bitches and you know all that shit. Like conceptually, it's you know what I'm saying nowadays you see a lot of incoherence. But over here, it's like, all right, guys, we have this concept about hard work and passion, and you're all gonna write about it. You know what I'm saying? Depicting your own life, but in these concepts. You know what I'm saying? So I already see that these guys are you know what I'm saying conceptually very consistent here. But anyway. <laughs> A traitor to my own desire. Okay. Tell me what two BZs and two S is. Probably name of Cruz or some type, you know what I'm saying? Oh shit, I'm not sure, so let me know. I place motivation first no matter what I make stepping stones out of my adversity you know what I'm saying as people say there is no losing it's either winning or learning you know what I'm saying that's where he's going with I assure a tomorrow better than yesterday okay man. okay man. <laughs> That rhyme's crazy. Whatever the shit he was doing that, like the alliteration or whatever the fuck that was, that rhyme was crazy. I, I heard it. Maybe he was not rhyming, maybe it was just how he was spitting it, you know what I'm saying, with such tenacity and the way he was flowing on it maybe, you know what I'm saying? Because sometimes people might not rhyme, but the way they say it, it almost sounds like a rhyme, you know what I'm saying, when they're spitting on a beat. So maybe it was that, but like... Anyway, anyway. <laughs> In mixtapes and shit, all these DJs would be shouting out their names, and that shit used to piss me off. I'm like, dude, I know this is your only way to get noticed, you know what I'm saying? But you are fucking up the song, the art. Like you're coming in the middle screaming and all that shit, you know what I'm saying? And I didn't like that. But now that I'm listening to this, it's just so reminiscent, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I love it. <laughs> 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 I guess this guy's is all That that shit's crazy. Like that shit's so crazy because it just has to be crazy. You know what I'm saying? Because it was back in the days, and it's like it's it's. The, 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 the foundations are there, you know what I'm saying? Like, because back in the days, whenever people were talking, you know what I'm saying, in hip-hop and whatnot, even there was that flexing, braggadocious shit, there was always some type of content in there, you know what I'm saying? Like, there was always substance, and this shows me, you know what I'm saying? Like, even when hip-hop started back in Korea, or, you know what I'm saying, because they were influenced by what was happening in America and all, all other parts of the country, you know what I'm saying? They took that, you know what I'm saying? And they took what was, what was, like... You know what I'm saying? What was the foundations of hip-hop? Which was talking about the struggles, which was talking about having substance, you know what I'm saying? It was like they were talking about some shit. It was some random ass shit that just sounded good and it's a vibe or a mood and all that stupid shit, you know what I'm saying? It was actually, it was expressing your emotions, you know what I'm saying? And this is exactly what I see from this when I'm reading the lyrics, so it's crazy, man. <laughs> Uh, 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 uh,
about this song, my sorry for this song, but the, even the lyrical content, right? Like the like the way they're penning this shit, right? It's so underground. Like I'ma cut off my disease. Oh, like I don't know how to say, but like certain ways that people kind of express or like the literary terms or metaphors or stuff like that they use in the underground rap scene is quite. Pro it's, it's quite pronounced, like you can tell, you know what I'm saying? And, and I'm getting those vibes, but anyway. Yesterday's scars develop into the joy of tomorrow, so everyone's talking about better than yesterday, you know what I'm saying? We're all gonna move forward type shit. Wait a minute, wait, 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 Who's this guy? Who's this guy? Go back. Go back when to, to when he started. Okay, is it, is it this? Is it more? No, he's still rapping here. Okay. Uh. Yeah. What? What? Hey, what does that say? Oh, Okay, so this motherfucker's name's Outsider. Okay, okay, okay. Chopper in Korea outsider, okay? I wasn't even reading the lyrics, man. I ain't even gonna front. I'll be real with y'all. This this mo if I fall, no problem. If I bring over if I go saying whatever happens, I don't give a fuck. No problem. Because I'm gonna make sure that I learn from it and my yesterday, I mean my bet my tomorrow is gonna be better than yesterday, you know what I'm saying? Like, but the way he was rhyming in that too, man, these choppers, right? It's like even when you know like I don't know, like Worldwide Chopper or like when Eminem's spitting fast or whatever fast rapper that, you know what I'm saying, you, you could think of like Bone Thugs and Harmony or whatever. And because back in the times I had this phase when it was all about, you know what I'm saying, how fast can a motherfucker rap? Like Twisted Insane and all those fuckers. So, <laughs> excuse, excuse my, you know what I'm saying, swear words. I, I you know what I'm saying, I, I realize I kind of swear when I get excited. But anyway, man. Um, so when I'm like reading the lyrics and I'm trying to like rap with them, if you practice enough, obviously you can follow it, you know what I'm saying? Like you can rap on beat with these guys, but it still doesn't sound that good even though you're on beat and you're rhyming all those words, you know what I'm saying? It's because these choppers have a way of rolling their tongue. Like the way they do it, it almost sounds like brrrr, like that, right? But they're actually pronouncing every single word, but they have just mastered the art of kind of rolling with it. Like I don't even know how to explain it, but that's something that I figured out and that's something that this motherfucker is doing as well. So anyway, anyway. <laughs> Jump to my feet. Look, I have to pause and read this shit because he's going too fast. You know, from my head and the inside of my bones and scream out from today or do my name and my heart. Fire, man. Fire. You you better kill me, you know what I'm saying? If you don't kill me, I'm gonna kill you, you know what I'm saying? He's saying, and if I don't die, you die. And he said something about he's the last bread warrior or something. He said the first line of his verse, but anyway. <laughs> Oh, it says Buddha 
something. So this is the Buddha crew that I was talking about? Okay, I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I love those streets, though. I'm guessing the North, whatever, J. Chan, I, I'm guessing those are the, you know what I'm saying, neighborhood that he's from, I'm guessing, right? Anyway. Oh, come on. What now? Pause, pause, pause. Go back. We, we now, we're going to pay some respect here to MC Sniper, you know what I'm saying? The buffering, man. Anyway, okay, there you go. <laughs> I love those details. I love it. And on the brink of that state of comatosis, those times when I made it through the day on the ramen seasoning packet, not even ramen, the seasoning packet, the motherfucker was snorting powder from a ramen seasoning packet, you know what I'm saying? Under the end of your foot? In my totally damn basement, look over here, this painting struggles. I love that, that, that detail. Room plotting my future dates, you know what I'm saying? He's just tired in his room in his basement, like, what am I gonna do in the future, you feel me? I was with my hatred and anger because that type of shit, you know what I'm saying, brings anxiety and anguish to your heart into the night for accomplishing my dreams. And here he is, you know what I'm saying? Like, shh, come on. Come on. Ah. I love how he, he, he knows how to kind of like stop at his rhymes, I don't know what the fuck he's doing, but it's like very like set, 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 you know what I'm saying, that's what I'm kind of catching from it, sonically at least. And I know, I've heard that MC Sniper is one of those guys that you guys all kind of grew up listening to, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, is, is it fair to say he's kind of like a cannabis of Korea maybe? I'm not quite sure, because he's a lyricist, you know what I'm saying? Back in the days when cannabis started, no one was writing the way he was writing, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, and MC Sniper is talking about all the shit, and I know he's, he's a very, not sensitive, but he's kind of like a very, he has very emotional topics, he's very, a sentimental type of rapper, you know what I'm saying? And it kind of shows from his lyrics and the details, you know? Anyway. <laughs> Climbing like a conquest to the world's roof Everest, okay, two B's, four batter up. Like, let me know what the bracket shit is. Like, and it keeps saying two B's and I don't know what that means, so do it. Anyway. <laughs> 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 Instrumental or some shit before, I feel like, you know what I'm saying? It's like one of those classical pieces they put like drums and shit to. Wow, wow. Stand up one time, pay my respects to the pioneers, you know what I'm saying? They paved the way so that we could, you know what I'm saying? The artists now could be there so that I could be here reacting to this shit, you know what I'm saying? So shouts out to MC Sniper, shouts out to all the rappers that were in there, you know what I'm saying? He was naming them and like giving them like all type of like fighting abilities, like you know what I'm saying? Outsider, always stepping up to the, you know what I'm saying? All that shit, so that was fire, man. That's such underground, rigorous, you know what I'm saying? Like it, it embodies that old hip hop, 
spirit so bad, you know what I'm saying, when I'm watching this shit, and I love that, the lyrical content, every single fucker, you know what I'm saying, in this shit had lyrical content, every motherfucker had content, they had substance, they could spit, you know what I'm saying, they were all going pretty fast too, and I would think about it, you know what I'm saying, but obviously, outsider took the cake with that shit, he was going, brr, brr, you know what I'm saying, that, shit, that motherfucker was going crazy, so shout out to him as well, you know what I'm saying, Better than yesterday, and I love how everyone was literally having, you know what I'm saying, talking about their own vulnerabilities, struggles, their own perspective, you know what I'm saying, and perceptions, but they were all relaying it or relating it to the theme of better than yesterday, you know what I'm saying, whatever my struggle was, I'm still gonna push through the adversity, you know what I'm saying, so that shit was dope, man, like it was, everything was there, everything was there, as I said, lyrics was there. Bars was there, delivery was there, speed was there, the hip hop spirit was there, you know what I'm saying? Even like the whole instrumental, like it was so underground and at the end you even see him in this underground bunker or some shit, you know what I'm saying? So as people say, hip hop's hip hop's not dead, it was buried alive, now it lives in the underground or some shit, you know what I'm saying? There's, there's a saying that goes something like that and this kind of shows, you know what I'm saying, why that's true but... Anyway, I've talked enough. I got super excited, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, this is it for today. Do you like and subscribe? If there's any more iconic shit like this that, 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 that influenced the culture back there, you know what I'm saying? That y'all want me to react to, let me know. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, man, do you like and subscribe? I can see, baby.